Okay, hi and welcome everyone once again. Let's have another go at another Fumbridge tournament. So go into Fumbridge, click Get Started Practice, and then Exclusive Tournaments. And I like to play in the Rombau tournament. I did that last week. Let's do it again this week. Quite a large number of people play this tournament. It runs for a week. It finishes tonight, Tuesday the 19th of May. And we've got 194 played at it. Top score is 79%. Um, next next one that's finished all is, is 74%. Anyway, let's get into it and see how we can go. And I'll try to keep it interesting and talk through my decisions all the way through. Here I have a 13 count. The person on my right has opened a spade and my partner's passed. I don't like bidding two diamonds here. I don't think the suit's good enough. Quite a good rule is that to overcall at the two level, you should have... Uh, the number of cards in your suit plus the number of honours in your suit equal to the number of tricks you are bidding for. So if I was to bid two diamonds, I'd be wanting to have three honours in a five-card suit or two honours in a six-card suit. So let's pass. I've got length in their suit and see what develops. Okay, so the hand belongs to them because two clubs presumably shows a decent hand. Yeah, at least 11 points, so I'm not bidding. Right. So it looks like Dummy's going to come down with a three-card support for spades and a club suit. What should I lead? Don't like leading suits where I've got the ace but not the king. Don't like attacking Dummy's long suit. I suppose I could lead a trump. Perhaps there's a cross rough coming, but I think I'll lead my singleton, even though it's Declarer's suit. So the only problem here is it looks unlikely partner will get in because I have so many points, but you never know. Let's see what comes from a singleton jack of hearts lead. Obviously, I want to get a, um, a rough later if I can. Dummy has got a pretty good hand there. Uh, three, four, eight, twelve points. Hmm. I'm certainly going to play low on that. See if he misguesses that. Didn't misguess that. Hard to believe that was a singleton. However, that was a singleton. So, <clears throat> partner had a singleton queen of spades. What else might partner have? Hard to believe partner will really have the singleton queen of... Uh, 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 the queen of diamonds, but it's possible, I suppose. What should I do? Quite like the idea of ducking here, because he's kind of wasted an entry to dummy by doing that. Um... Yeah, I might do that because he may he may continue by trying to cash a, uh, a heart maybe. So let's duck. <clears throat> and I don't mind the lead being in dummy because I don't mind. I want to my. Okay, so now I'll take. Now, I don't think my partner has got anything of much use here. So I'm just wondering whether I might make a deceptive switch to the Queen of Clubs. I'm sure my partner hasn't got any more high cards. We have one trick. If I do that uh, and he wins the ace in dummy, he puts me back on lead... Yeah, I might be able to pop him back in dummy possibly again. So let's try a switch to the Queen of Clubs as a deceptive manoeuvre. I think he's got the ace king of hearts, so I can't see my partner having either of those cards. Just hoping I can trap Declarer and Dummy here to give me a rough. So let's try that. Now this will trap Declarer and Dummy. I might just get my other spade. That would be nice. Oh, he roughed it. Yeah, all right, okay, yep. 
<laughs> he roughed his good club to get back to his hand to draw Trump. So well played. 34%. Some people beat it. I don't think it can. How can it be beaten? Let's have a quick look. Okay, went in with the king of spades. Return to spade. Okay. Mm, partner, what? Why did he duck? What? That was a strange play. The nine of hearts got... Yeah, okay. I, I think the cleric can make that contract. Um, let's go to the next deal. Here I have 10 points, 4 triple 3, not good, so let's pass. Well, I don't like letting them play one trump much because it's usually pretty easy, but I've got no, vulnerable. I've just got a hand with no trick taking power, so I'm going to have to pass. Yuck. So this is interesting. I'm on lead and I've got this very interesting spade holding. I think this is an unusual situation. And I think I read about this one in a book once with ace, queen, ten and another. I want to lead it. I want to lead a spade because partner could have the jack and we get some spade tricks set up. I should lead the queen of... Let's assume that they've got both the king and the jack. Say king tripleton in one hand and jack tripleton in the other. If the king is on my right, I should lead the ten. Declarer will probably put the jack in from dummy and that's fine. That'll win the first trick, but my ace queen will be over dummy's king. However, if I think the, uh, the king is over here, then I should lead the queen. The queen, king will win the first trick if he puts it up. And then I'll have my ace 10 sitting over the jack. So I think it's more likely that the king of spades is on my left here. So I'm going to try that. Notice if the king jack is on my left, there's nothing much I can do about it if king jack and another. So let's try that and see how that works. Because the stronger hand is on my left. All right, well, it's not there. What was that? King, six, three, two. I think I've set up low in courage. So it looks like my partner's got the, got the king of spades here. So that's good. Dummy had 12 points. I had 10, that's 22. That leaves 18 in the other hands. Spades were four, triple, three. Uh, yeah, definitely want to lead the last spade, I think. Got a signal from my partner. I think we're playing low in courage, so you definitely want to tell him to, uh, hmm. I'm going to play a high diamond because I don't want it going jack queen and he returning a low one thinking I have the 10. I'm going to lead a high one just to make it really clear. High hate that I don't want a diamond returned. <clears throat> yeah, partner's got the king, queen of diamonds as expected. That's good. What will he do if I refuse this trick? Yeah, I don't see how he can get to his hand if my partner's got the king of diamonds, so I'm going to take this, lead another diamond. No, he's stuck in dummy. Ooh, this is looking good. Does my partner have another heart to send back? Nice. That was good. Well, we took we took eight tricks. Wow, two off. That's good. 
78%. Okay, next. 11 points, but again a 4 triple 3. Fairly boring shapes I'm getting so far. Um, 11 points, very flat though. After an overcall, I like my 1 no trump bid to be a little higher because with 6 or a bad 7, I can pass after an, uh, after an overcall. Normally, the reason you reply, say, 1 no trump with a bad hand is to give your partner another bid. But here, once the overcall comes, I don't really need to uh, reply and... Um, uh, you know, with a bad six or seven. So here I think I'm okay to be one no trump. Three clubs. Well, I'm certainly at the top of the range here, so I guess I've got to bid three no trumps. Partner should have a good hand. King of Diamonds. I have 11 points. Partner only has 13 points. Wow. Uh, expected a bit more for the for the uh, uh, voluntary three-level bid, but I guess he does want to bid three clubs. Maybe maybe I should have assumed that partner would double here with a, a slightly stronger hand. So maybe it is just based on long clubs. So I have 11, partner's 13, that's 24, 16 missing. West has got good diamonds. So therefore it would indicate that East has probably got all the rest of the big cards. The 10 of hearts, the hearts must be 5-1 or 6-0. Hmm, that's not good. I don't think I'm going to do anything by ducking, so I think I'm just going to go up. I don't think I can block him out. Interesting. King of spades. King of spades. Wow. Okay, that might be an unblock. In which case, it's good that I went up. All right, let's see if the queen of clubs appears. I'm just going to make sure these this 9-8 doesn't get in the way. I've got 98765, so they're all equals. Hoping the Queen of Clubs appears. Hmm. Well, I've got no entry to dummy, so I have to come to hand now and finesse. Hmm. I think the Queen of Spades is in this hand, so I think I'm okay. I've still got the Ace of Diamonds, and if the Jack of Spades is holding up, that's good. Let's see the Ten of Hearts here. That'd be good. Then the Jack Nine would, would form another trick. No. Okay. So it looks like the Hearts were 5-1. So he had King, 10, 8, 7, something. 8, 7, 6, I think. All right. Let's try the Finesse, because I've got to, I, I have to Finesse here, because I mustn't block myself out of dummy with no other side entry. Oh, well, that makes it easy. <clears throat> well, I've got no choice but to Finesse. You see, I go up with the king, I play another, I can't get back to dummy. Now, who's got the queen of spades? Oh, yay! That's fantastic. So now... Now I'm home. Well, I can claim now, because I can throw the heart away, and dummy's high, so I can just claim all the rest of the tricks. Making ten. Nine. No. Oh. No, making ten. I've only got three. Thank you. That should be good. Ninety-eight percent. That's nice. Okay. Next one. Board four. <clears throat> Finally, I've got a good hand. Not a four triple three. Hmm. However, the opponent's open one and a trump. Six. Look, it's pretty good. Uh, five, six, six and a half tricks. You can assume partner will give you a trick. So I think I'm very close to eight tricks. My suit's really good. Some people play this as spades and another, but here I think it's just natural. So let's give two spades a whirl. It's good to have the lead coming around to my king of diamonds. So dummy has a nice hand, actually. Six points. 
the King of Hearts looks like almost a certain trick. So I have um, 8, 9, uh, 12, 16, 6, 22... There's uh, 15 to 17 there, so there's most three points on my right. Well, that's a nice lead because I have definitely not, I'm definitely going to take that because I want to uh, get something away later on. On the uh, I can I can uh, get to dummy with the Queen of Spades and I hope get a card away on the on the Jack of Clubs. I know the singleton's not on my left if there is a singleton because he's open one no trump. <clears throat> Looks like the king queen of clubs is on my left. There must be, I would say, probably some diamond honours there. I suppose it's possible not. But let's see. Let's see how this suit breaks. I have to play the ten of clubs next whether they break three one or not. Okay, so now I have to take the risk that this isn't going to get roughed. Um, if the one no trump opener has a five card, oh no, the one no trump opener is the one with a long. So I know this is not going to get roughed because the one no trump opener is the only one with a tr with uh, <clears throat> the only one with any uh, trumps left, and uh, I know he's got the queen of clubs, and the other person can't rough. Oh, this makes it easy. Okay. Now what? Four. Mm. Not a good idea to lead your aces out. I suppose he, think, he figures I've got a lot of discards coming, so I guess, yeah, I guess, because he knows once I get there I've got the jack and the nine of clubs and probably another club, so fair enough. Well, I think I can claim the rest. Yeah, just go across to the queen of spades. I'll just do that so he knows that I'm doing that. Drawing his last trump. So how many tricks did I make? Ten. Oh, well, I guess someone might... A bit hard to big game, really. Okay. And claim. Hmm, nice. Uh, only 56%. Oh, that was a very common result. Very common result, yep. One no trump. Down lots. Wow. I suppose there is something to be said for passing because you have got a fair bit of defence. Yeah, he's got... Uh, well, I've got some diamond tricks. But, I mean, we can start with six spades, so that kind of helps. I guess he leads a club and then, yeah, well, we can take the first seven tricks at least. Yeah, OK, because partner had the queen of spades. That made it good to defend, but looked like a sort of a hand where I wanted to get into the bidding. Let's go to the next deal. Mm, I've got a good hand here, 17 points, lots of clubs, so I'm not going to open one no trump on this because firstly I think it's a bit strong with a six card suit and secondly it's an unbalanced hand, so we just open one club, a diamond, well I guess i got to bid three clubs on this hand, looks like a three club rebid, three diamond, I don't like jump raising without four card support, so let's bid three clubs, if partner's got a good hand, he'll go on, if he's got a minimum hand, he'll pass, he's passed, let's hope he has got a minimum hand, hmm, six points again, and I have 17, that's 23, this time they didn't bid, so I, I guess the points are approximately evenly split, four of diamonds lead, that could be a singleton, do I want to play the jack of diamonds, could also be away from the king, I guess, although... I think it's unlikely, given that I've showed a strong hand, that you would lead away from a king. Hmm. Quite like the idea of playing the Queen of Hearts at trick two. Uh, yeah, let's play the Jack of Diamonds, and if they don't cover, I'll lead a small heart towards my queen. If they do cover, that solves a lot of problem. Oh, okay. Well, obviously I want to get to dummy at some point to draw trumps. So let's leave the Queen of Hearts with a view to maybe getting to dummy with the Queen of Spades. It's the aces on my left. Okay, he's got the Ace of Hearts. That slightly increases the chance of the Ace of Spades being on my left. Um...
I kind of like the idea of actually putting the uh, putting the king of spades on this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I guess there's no real reason to do that. Either the queen of spades wins this trick or wins the next trick. Yeah, so let's just play low. I want to get to dummy. Okay, so now I don't need to worry about roughing a spade in dummy, which was I sort of had that as a possible idea. So now I just need to get the trumps out as quickly as possible because everything's high. I guess lead the nine of clubs. And I suppose, yeah, well, who knows, but... What do we know? Ace of Spades was on the left. The Ace of the Ace of Hearts and the King of Diamonds were there. So I think that increases the chance of the King of Clubs being on my left. If the King of Clubs is on my left, I think I want to let the Nine run. I hope that the Jack is not on my left. Oh. King, uh, 9762. Wow. That means the 5 is now the same as the, as the, uh, any of the others except for the, well he hasn't got the jack because he would have won if he had the jack. Oh, well let's take what we call a deep finesse, shall we? This will be fun. 5. King? No. Ah, oh, right. Okay, well, I just have to give up a trick to the, um, I have to give up one trick, don't I? Uh, yeah, there were four, four, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tricks to go, I'll claim six, yep. Claim accepted. Now, how many did I make? Ten, well, that was good. Uh, ten, a common enough result. Some people are only making nine, I'm not sure. The, the play was kind of automatic, really. Anyway, let's go to the next hand. One, oh, and another four triple three. Another boring four triple three. Huh. Ah. Uh. Well, easy queen of hearts lead here. No matter how the suit's laid out, this cannot cost a trick. Queen, five, six, two. Queen, five, six, two. So I can't see the... Well, I don't particularly want to switch to anything else anyway. So. Now, in theory, I could play the jack, the 10 or the 9. The jack, in theory, would show that I'm interested in the highest suit available as a possible switch. That would be spades. The 9, that I was interested in the lowest possible suit. Well, that's not possible clubs. So, in theory... In theory, the Ten of Hearts, the middle card, I think should show that I've got interest in diamonds. Because if partner can win this, partner might have started with three to the ace. Ah, okay, to clear the ace, yeah, all right. Uh, how many points did Dummy have? Dummy had five, I had, um, what did I have? Nine, that's 14. Say there's six. So partner has about ten points. Three of them are the. Um, try to show my partner. I've got an odd number here. Queen. So partner doesn't have a high spade on. Although it's silly of Declare to play the queen if they had the ace, king, and the queen. Again, I'm playing my lowest club here. I don't know if Declare. Partner will get the message. Maybe that's asking for a diamond return if he has. Okay, interesting. Don't like the way this is shaping up. I don't know why. Why did my partner return a heart? Why did my partner do that? Well, he had another heart. And he plays another spade when he knows that, that, that dangerous... Wow, he didn't finesse in clubs. How lucky was that? All right. Well, I can't throw a winner away in the other suits, so I'm going to throw a diamond. How lucky was that, that he didn't finesse in clubs? Phew.
Oh, okay, he's trying to implant me. All right, oh, I'll take my tricks. Uh, two. Looks like he's got the king of diamonds, otherwise he wouldn't do that. Wow, he could have made a lot of tricks by finessing in clubs. Guess he didn't have the nerve to do it. So we're going to end up with six tricks. What was the contract? One, no, Trump. Well, unfortunately, that's going to make... I don't think my partner's got the king of diamonds. I haven't counted the points, but... Uh, I think the clever's got the king. Yep. Okay. How good was that? 55%. Okay, still still good overall score. Let's keep going. Almost a four triple three, but not quite. Six, 11 points. Haven't had very interesting hands here. Do I want to open this 11 point? I think not. It's pretty bad. No aces, no, uh, only sort of one and a um, sort of one and a half quick tricks. So I don't, I don't like this 11 count, so let's pass this one. One diamond, pass. Pass. Ah, right. Now we're in what we call a balancing situation. So one expert once told me that when this happens, you can assume the person on your left will have approximately 15 points on average, and the person on your right will have about three. So that's 18. I have 11. That's 29. Therefore, a partner should have about 11 most of the time. So there are entire books written on balancing, but the rules are very different when it goes pass, pass to you. Because you know the person on your right's got a garbage hand, so the rules kind of totally change. One no trump in this situation, I like to be 11 to 14, which is a possible bid. But um, I have got a four card major, and there is a rule about majors first. So I don't mind in the balancing seat a suit bid at the one level being a four card suit. If punter doesn't like spades, they can be one no trump. Um, I don't think they need much of a much of a diamond stopper to do that, really, as long as I got a balanced hand. So let's let's try that and see what happens. Partner alternatively might be two clubs, and I'll pass. Well, no trumps a possibility, but uh, yeah, let's let's try and see. If we may have it. There's no reason why we can't have a four-four fit. So let's or let's let's see. Or maybe partner might even have five spades. Not likely, I guess. Three. Oh God, I don't want that. I'm a passed hand. I'm a past tense. So that indicates partners probably got maximum. Well, there's no way I'm bidding game on this. Uh, don't bid marginal games at this form of scoring. Gee, I didn't like that bid. <laughs> Three spades. A pretty crappy 12. I, I really think that opposite a past hand, why would you want to invite game? What did I show with my one spade bid? Nine and 11 points. Oh, five cards. Yeah, I could have looked at that. Yeah, okay. So the robots thinks I've got five. I like it to be showing four. But anyway, let's... Doesn't look like we've got much to think about here. Let's uh, play a big one. Just because we've got the eight and the ten, they're all equal. So let's just see if we can dissuade him from playing any more of those. Yeah, definitely don't want any more of those. So let's just try to get that away. It also unblocks the suit. Nah, that didn't work. Let's go low, just in case he forgets to uh, rough if he can. I think he can. Yeah, rough. Well, this hasn't started well, and it's got at least a uh, king of spades to lose. Oh, another another. Uh, oh no, I can over rough him this time at least, unless he roughs with his jack. Oh, what a nuisance this is. Uh, what a terrible bid that three spade bid was. There's been two spades. Why would you want to be in game opposite a past hand with that motley collection? Here comes another club. Well, let's hope that he can't rough with the jack. Good. Everything's high now, so I've just got to get trumps out. Will I finesse? Will I count up the points? Um, oh, that makes it easy. Uh, right. Well, I think that's the end of it, because didn't he rough twice? That must have been a single... How stupid was that rough? He shortened himself down that he didn't want to trick with his jack. <laughs> that's stupid so east player there either rough him with a jack or discard let me rough so 
So if he just bid two spades, I would have made it. What? I got 96% for that. Oh, I made it. I made it. Oh, right. Sorry, I was playing four spades. Of course, I made it. Huh. Well, that's good. Wow, getting a good score here, 71%. But imagine, you know, like two, two spades making. Um, here I've got a hand with three aces. People say aces and spaces. On the last hand, by the way, the reason my partner didn't double over the one club bit is he only had a doubleton heart, so that's correct. With a 12 high card point hand, if you haven't got the right shape to double, you have to pass. Uh, if you remember the last hand, my partner had doubleton heart. So here, do I want to bid? Again, people say aces and spaces, but I think that's a bit of a silly saying. I mean, aces are good things, not bad things. Uh, so yeah, I you know I quite like this hand's okay. I got a couple of tens, but I again don't have the right shape to to double because I again I have a double ten in a suit the partner might bid. So I'm passing not because of the aces and spaces thing, which I don't adhere to anyway, but because I don't have the right shape to double. Well, now that I've passed initially, I'm not going to be doing anything now. He's bidding my suits. Oh, I was hoping you might go on to three no trump there, have some chance to beat that. Although my partner's on lead. Suppose my partner's going to lead a spade. Someone leads queen of hearts, which was the suit that the person on my left bid. So my partner must have really good hearts. How many points has Dummy got? Dummy's got uh, 5, 14, uh, uh, sorry, 5, 11, 13. I have 12, that's 25. West probably has around 10 to 11 for the 2 no trump bid. Yeah, 11 points. So 11 and 12 is 23 and 13 is 36. So then my partner has at most 4 points, about 4 points. Well, obviously the king's in the other hand, so... I don't want to block the suit up. And also, I want to lead a heart back. It's pretty unattractive to lead any other suit. So let's lead a heart back. I can't see how my partner's ever going to get in, really. But uh, let's see what happens. What happened there? It was 6, 8, 9. My partner won and then led a spade back. So he's led the queen? He's led the queen. Oh, there must be, yeah, he must have, he must have, the declarer must have started with king 10, 8, and another, yeah. So my partner can't lead another one back. So my partner's hoping that I, well, my partner knows I don't have any more because the bidding told us that declarer had four. So we know how the hearts were distributed. Six, one, two, four at the beginning. Partner's leading the eight of spades, which, well, I don't see any particular reason to uh, to win this. I've got kind of control of everything. Declarer is going to, at some point, have to play diamonds. So I'm okay, I think, with... I think I'm okay with... Yeah, encourage this. Not the partner's going to get on lead again. My idea is how do I get out safely when I eventually do win the lead? Should I duck this? Um, no, I don't think so because he could he could play on clubs. I'm just going to play ace and another spade and, you know, K Sarah Sarah. And that way I've got off lead. Um, it could have come under some... Oh, I was going to say discarding pressure if he cashes the king of hearts, but it's only one card. I'm okay to discard it. Just get another one away. So we've got four. If we can get another one. No. What's he got? The king of hearts. Well, I never question these because they never claim wrongly. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tricks. Oh, yeah, he's got two diamonds, three clubs, a heart, and a spade. Yep. Okay. So that was that one. What I'll do is I'll come back 57% for that. So that was good. Only the first board was a poor board. Uh, what happened there? Four, uh, oh, four spades. They made four spades. Let's just have another quick look at that. Well, they've always got four spade tricks and three hearts. That's seven. And the ace of clubs is eight. They do have to guess the diamonds correctly for nine. 
and uh, yeah, I guess I guess it's possible some maybe sometimes to beat that. Hmm. Interesting. He played a small diamond to the king. I don't quite know how he knew that. Hmm. Well, so it looks like well, they can set up clubs. I mean, you can play a small club to the jack, the ace of clubs, and then rougher club. That looks like a reasonable line of play. Anyway, um, maybe that can be beaten. Anyway, what I'm going to do is come back when the tournament's closed. At this stage, I'm doing okay. Let's have a look how I'm doing. So at this stage, that's after seven deals. Come back in and go in again. So at this stage, oh, I'm coming 10th out of 173. That's good. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll put another clip on when I come back after the tournament has closed. Bye for now. Okay, it's Wednesday morning. Let's go and have a look how I did in this tournament. Get started practice, exclusive tournaments. The tournament is over now. And 11th out of 235, just ticked above 70%. So there were a couple of things I noted down afterwards that I thought I should just recap on again. On board two, a lot of people might find it a bit strange that I didn't just lead fourth best here from this spade holding. Why not lead fourth best? Well, when you've got three honours, it's best not to lead fourth best. There's just too much chance that your opponents have both the other honours and by leading low, you're going to not find anything in partner's hand and e enable an easy trick to be made. For instance, if I lead low here and it goes around to the, uh, it may go around to the jack with the king in dummy. So that's why I think you should either lead the queen or the 10 in that situation with ace, queen, 10 and another as I explained uh, how to choose between the queen and the 10. Go back and look at that one if you want to. And also the other thing I wanted to point out was here with this uh, board seven, uh, when it went, uh, I passed initially, and then it went one club, pass, correct from my partner, with a doubleton heart you should pass, pass. Now I'm used to double is 12 plus any shape. Uh, although I, I could be 11 to 14, I'd be one no trump. But if I'm not 11 to 14 and wanting to be one no trump, then 12, double as 12 plus with any shape. This is nowhere near a one spade over call if I was in the immediate seat. After a one club, if I was in the immediate seat, this is, of course, nowhere near a one spade over call. Here, I should have probably considered a double because I was already a past hand. And so um, partner would know that I had a balanced dish hand with around 10 points. So there I probably should have done that and I certainly should have read the uh, explanation. So when you're playing in Funbridge or Bibio or against robots, always read the explanation of what your bid means and then you will know how your partner will interpret it. So he thought I had five spades, so I guess he raised to three spades just on the basis that we have nine trumps and that if he raised to two spades, they might come back in. Well, I still think it's a bit strange to raise to three spades. But anyway, I was very lucky there. I made it because this person made the mistake of roughing twice and therefore their jack of spades didn't take a trick. But on normal play, I should lose two top clubs, a club rough, the ace of diamonds and one spade trick to go one off in three spades. So I got a bit of a gift there. Anyway, so all the boards were good except for the first one, which I discussed earlier. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.